Funhouse is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Don't let your internet provider see all the sites you visit. Hide your browsing activity at expressvpn.com forward slash funhouse. This is how you make gameplays. I forgot. I kind of <laughs> did too. What, what is, is a play? game? Quick, ask me what game we're playing. At least, what game are we playing today? Landlord Super. Landlord Super. Everyone's game going game. from a different, uh, <laughs> like, imperialist oh, accent. Yeah. No, no oh, you're instead of Australian. Oh. Hey, Jeez. it's Landlord Super. We're playing Super. Landlord Super. This game has been on my list since 20... Probably 2020, but it's a game. I don't really know anything about it, but uh, as you can see, there's been a lot of changes recently. They added paintbrush set, oh. paint cans, mix buckets, wallpaper, yeah. added, added tiling. Well, James, you haven't piqued my interest, so let's do it. Can we take a second to just soak it in? We, how awesome it is that we're back, baby. We're back. We're, we're back. back. We're, we're back. back. We recorded three videos. We will be spreading out over the course oh. of the next Six months. So slide it down your filthy gullets, viewers. Swallow I it mean, up. No, no, <laughs> just, please watch it. So you're in your trailer. Okay. Yeah. Are those gloves or so is that the color of your- No, I, uh, I, I sleep in ash. It's good for the pores. Okay. Is there a landlord that is the landlord of this apartment or are so, we the landlord? So to be completely honest with you, what I can glean from this game is that someone saw my summer car and said, maybe we should try this. This is set in the 80s. We're building a, an apartment? And instead of building a car, you're going to be building, oh, your zipper. Can Does you click on your zipper? Does this mean that all the women, they, their bottoms go up really high on their hips? Oh, install. let's find women. Uh, if we find women, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I wanna find <laughs> women. Treat them with respect. Uh, Mr. So you know. H. Abeth to the dingy caravan on the side of the street. I am delighted to inform you that your right to bar application was approved. Yay. I can now share the terms of your mortgage agreement, PTO, with you in full. It is also my pleasure to attach within this letter, proceed to the end of the documentation, the keys to your late uncle's property in the notebook, which was kept on the premises. I've attached a picture of your office for the convenience of your All good splendor. Mitchell. All right. So, so you got a your, inheritance. You get a house. Congratulations on owing we me money. <laughs> owing? Owing. We weigh zero pounds? Uh, Ryan, a pound is the currency in Britain. Currency? In England, the way it works is that dollars are pounds and pounds are stones. You weigh dollars by the pound and then you trade them for rocks? That's a great question. If I wanted to know how much money I had in London, England, but the weight of it, I would say I had 80 pounds. And they go, no, there's way more than that there. Well, you'd have 80 stones worth of pounds. We're going to have to explain capitalism, Ryan. And just to uh, uh, cl be clear, we are the landlord. Super. I believe so. I believe that is the, we inherited this property and now we're going to try to get tenants is what I'm interpreting. Okay. Why are your eyes crying? <laughs> because I'm just so happy. Are you sweating or crying? I thought we were going to find women. Okay. I'm crying. Go on, kid. <laughs> You've broken my oh, heart, no. so let me finish crying and then. <laughs> I have the key. Uh, I, I don't need any help. I know what I'm doing. Yep. Nice. Here we are. Whoa! Is this this just is all a, yours. A, a gross sink. How do I sitting throw? in the yard? How do I put it down? Porcelain, though. Be careful. All right. Well, then it's yours now. That you get to look. Okay, we get to look at this. Let's bring it thing. inside. I, we can't see anything. This so, is actually a good test here, <laughs> Ryan. Yeah. If we could see past this filthy sink and into this property, mm -hmm. is it nice or bad? I mean, I would live there. That doesn't really answer. <laughs> yeah. Or does it? <laughs> Ryan, another question. Yeah. Did you see the TikTok videos of that woman, the young woman that discovered another room behind her bathroom mirror in her New York apartment? It was like no. a whole other apartment behind there. No. And like it was empty and mm -hmm. looked like it had been cordoned off. Mm -hmm. Would you live there? I will live anywhere. Okay. I have. <laughs> and uh, uh, I, the lowest I've gotten my rent down is $100. A hundred dollars. You've paid a hundred dollars to rent a place in LA. Yes, did I did. Do you have roommates? I rented an eight hundred dollar room. Uh -huh. Okay, and I in a in a in a house, and then yeah. I said, hey, is it? Can I rent out part of this room to someone else? How big was <laughs> Wait, this room? You su <laughs> Wait, hang Hold on. on. You sublet your eight hundred dollar room. Think, yeah. He sublet a portion. A portion of, his of my room. room. So how big was the room compared to the room we're in now? The room was about half of this size <laughs> with 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 a big walk-in closet with a window in the walk-in closet, which is important. To what? The outside? To the outside. <laughs> That's a hey, I'm with Ryan. That makes another room. That makes another room. There was another room. So I found so I didn't just find another roommate to find to get 
to pay the seven hundred dollars while I took the one hundred dollars and, and made my room in the in the walk-in closet. I found two nineteen-year-old music uh, musicians that had come out here from North Carolina. Hey, and, what a sad state! And, and they're like, "Hey, uh, I was like, do you guys want to split my seven hundred dollar main portion of the room and I'll sleep in your walk-in closet for a hundred bucks?" And they happily obliged. You had a bed. I had a a, a couch that took up the entire uh, length of uh, length of the okay. walk-in closet. That was my bed and my room. Question: At least from Funhouse. Yes, at least. Uh, fun out. What was the bathroom situation? Because you added two additional people to this shared living. We th- I'm sure there were other roommates in the house as well. So how many yeah. people shared? There was like about 13 people sharing one bathroom. Okay, so how many? There was so how many bedrooms? <laughs> on paper, James. okay. James, James, fun right, James yes. funhouse. Calm down, calm down. Um, so on paper, uh, if you were to ask the the government, how many <laughs> bedrooms and bathrooms this? apartment had, what would the government documentation say? Uh, this is Ryan's apartment. <laughs> that he wishes. <laughs> well, there's technically Whoa. only f- three official bedrooms. No, hey. I'm sorry. There's four official bedrooms. <laughs> we made every place a bedroom. How many bathrooms? I was about to ask, yeah. One bathroom. One. Okay, One yeah. bathroom. Four, yeah. one. It was a 4-1, a- which already should be illegal. Uh, uh, Charlotte, what's your question? I know you've got one. I was wondering if the four of you ever used the bathroom at the same time. Well, you know, because 13 people, there's tons of times where more than one or three people need to shit at the same time. Mm-hmm. And then it's just luck of the draw. It's survival of the fittest. Yeah. Darwinism. Thir- survival of the shittest. That's that classic funhouse material that Ooh, only happens we're back, when you We're back, back baby. We're Hope here. you enjoyed the video. <laughs> we'll see you next year. Now I'm making Ryan's room. Say that again? <laughs> Did you like? <laughs> She's making Ryan's room. Oh, yeah. Here we go. The couch. <laughs> <laughs> I still, there's still little spaces. That is way bigger. That's Ryan. twice. And so you tell me Ryan's couch did not have three Let's cushions. Here, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> so we joke, we joke, but I look at that and I admire you because it's clearly somebody that came out here to pursue their dreams mm-hmm. and a passion for creativity and mm-hmm. was like, I'm going to do whatever it takes. In yeah. my living situation, make that happen. Yeah. This whole show business thing, you know, it's not like you're like, we're not like mm-hmm. coming out here like, oh man, I'm going to make it immediately and make all this money. It's like, I kind of was like, okay, I'm going to come out there. I'm probably going to be not make anything for many years. So you got to be cool with that. Yeah, and then that's you end up true. living in a little fucking uh, closet. closet. You got to be cool window. with it. I moved here, went straight to RT West, and I said, I need a damn job. <laughs> and I don't want to just be a producer. I don't just want to be an editor. I want to be an editor producer. They, they told me to come back in like two or three years. <laughs> if I wanted to make money, I'd go work at Taco Bell or something. No. I, I joined the film industry That's good to money. pursue my passions. <laughs> Can we meet Scrouse Jimmy or whatever at the pub? Uh, Can we just maybe fo- we should maybe explore yeah. the street and see well, if no, yeah, you're right. Like, this is a shithole that we live in, right? I okay, mean, it, it, it's not done yet. Wait, that's how you feel about this, <laughs> <laughs> Ryan? I want to ask you a question. Where is Shoot. what is Jim. more important in your shelter? A hierarchy. Walls or a ceiling? Oh, Not ceiling. Easy. Yeah, it's got to be ceiling. I mean, that's what keeps the rain out. And yeah. That's the only thing that matters. It is walls for me. Okay. But if you had walls without a ceiling, you can put it in What is, what is holding the ceiling up? Okay, now there's blood streaming yeah, in front of my eyes. eyes. You're bleeding Wait, what blood? is that? Well, there's a giant... Yeah, it's, crying, it's, a, it's crying a Clyde blood? Steel. Who's she? Ooh. She's <laughs> a scrap merchant. Well, I now oh, here's I a gadget I've never seen before. Name's Toto, and this old body lying next to me is sixpence. I like that only that one part of her yeah. lips move. We are scrap merchants, I. You but might have had to be burning me on each morning. Sorry about that, but alas, has got to make a living somehow. Thank God we have subtitles. <laughs> Oh, I'm pissing. I'm pissing. Oh, you're pissing Girl blood. Pissed. Wee! Oh, my God. Careful, careful, careful. They are not happy about that. Let's get out of here. Okay, okay so you got a job. And I got a job. I have to go to a I derelict. I thought your job was being the super of, uh, of this apartment. You need money to be able to build your place so that way you can get tenants. Just need to grab my notebook. He's waiting for me outside the derelict house. To the derelict house. To the derelict house. Is this so, the derelict house? I mean, I would. if someone said meet me in front of the derelict house, I would this definitely assume it was house. your place. This is right. your house. I'm yes. going gonna, gonna to sleep on it? Okay. And then go at it in the morning. Oh, so it is noon, so you might as well okay. sleep until <laughs> 8 a.m. the next day. Do you need food? You ha- your ener- Is your energy? All I do is sleep, baby. Yeah, you would think that you could stave off sleep if you just con- continuously fueled yourself with food. Right. I think that's meth you're thinking of. Uh, we'll have we seen this guy before? Or yeah, see? that's We've Scouse seen... Jimmy. They're all the same person putting on a different disguise and running around to head me off. Oh, it's Truman Ooh. Show. It's Truman. You're getting Truman Show right now. Yeah, mm. I haven't seen that. Before. Oh, okay. It's a film with starring Jim Carrey. And... See, I always go. Mm. I always go Truman Show. It's a film starring Ed Harris. <laughs> that's why I, I always lead with that. 
Ed Harris stars yeah. as the beret wearing director of a reality show about something. I don't know. Anytime Timothy somebody, Hutton. They go, have you seen The Truman Show? And they go, no, I haven't seen The Truman Show. I go, okay, well, it's kind of like The Majestic, but <laughs> if it all took place in a television show, and it, you always well, start with a different movie. Yeah. And then right. You know the poster for The Truman Show, which is, you know, it's, it's, it's oh. Truman asleep. Mm-hmm. It's and a million yeah. pictures. Well, that's not the original poster, because as that's, you know, it's an Ed Harris wearing. vehicle. So. And then it said whatever his character's name is, show. It was like, <laughs> what is it? His, it was something Frenchy. Hold on. Hey, Google. Yeah? Is she still here? Oh. No, oh. I can help you out, though. Hey, Charlotte, what's the name of Ed Harris's character? If you want to set two alarms, just say, okay, okay right. Charlotte, I need two alarms. Christoph. That's what it is. Yeah, it's it, Christoph. Said, it said Christoph One show. Word. And then at the screenings, they gave out little berets. Yeah. To everybody in the yeah. audience. And they gave out berets, and the, and everyone just everyone watched like that, and then the the movie ended. Credits rolled. It started with one child crying, and it was <laughs> boo, and everyone booed. So they had to go back to the the drawing board and re, they cast Jim Carrey after the fact. They called that the Truman and Cut. Release the Truman Cut. And ninety percent of the scenes that were removed from the original version of Truman Show ended up in Pollock. Uh, Charlotte, what's happening? Yeah, what are you doing? Know. Buy this donkey. Milk this donkey. Milk the donkey. So. Oh, okay, Charlotte, you have no clue what you're doing. I'm looking We've been for here the for pub. over half an hour. No, no, we're doing things. You're looking we for the pub? We can scrap some stuff from my place. I have to... Where's my Is fucking Is your place notebook? any closer to being a real place? It has a sofa. Is there a map of the town at the bus stop? There's a bus stop? Oh, boy, I'm really effing this up. Wait, let's go to Lakeside. Lakeside <laughs> was the name of, of where all the bad delinquent kids went. Uh, in Memphis. Did you go there? In Memphis. No, I didn't go there. Did you have any friends? People threatened to send me there. I had friends go. <laughs> who? I had who friends threatened? Who threatened you? Uh, you know, who hurt administrators you? that were wanting to, me to shape up. So mm-hmm. we're going to send you to Lakeside. Was mm-hmm. it near a lake? That's a good question. I don't have money to get to Lakeside, <laughs> but God. I put a chair in the wheelbarrow. Well, hold on. Go back. Pick up the chair again. Because I noticed some of the stuff was turning blue. Maybe it needs to be placed exactly right. Perfect. Sorry, Ryan. Your couch has to go. What? In the That's my bed. I think only specific stuff is scrap. I don't know that that. Oh, scrap value this twelve cool. fifty. Wow. And in the morning, I'm gonna get up, and the couch fairy will have come and blessed my home with his couch. <laughs> uh, oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ryan. Good news. You get your couch back, Yay! and this time it's sweater than ever. <laughs> I used to say that if I ever just make it and become know. just. Filthy rich. The first thing I'm going to do is buy probably about a dozen to 15 couches for friends of mine who I've peed on them over the years. <laughs> wait, <laughs> totally you on, wait, you pee on the friend or their couch? <laughs> their couch. A no. dozen? Yeah. You should a be. dozen couches? Over the years? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> wait, you make it sound like the passage of time makes it acceptable. Yeah, because you know, there's a... I've never pissed on one couch. Yeah, I've never pissed on a single Same. couch. Uh, I used to have a problem. I don't have a problem anymore. I, there was yeah. an episode of Seinfeld where Poppy peed on one couch, uh-huh. his first and only time, as far as anyone's aware, and he also had a medical condition. Alcohol affects the body, everybody's body differently, right? If, if all of us were to take, let's say, 10 shots, okay? Some people would be yeah. fine, some mm-hmm. people would pass out, some people would pee themselves in about an hour. And that's me. So, but knowing this, I just, the thing and is- And then knowing this, I stopped after a while. After, after a 12. while. After, after 12. Yeah, 12 choice. Choice. After college. I mean, we've done that, Ryan. We've done that here on camera at Funhouse where we've taken, you know, 10 plus shots. Your body can take it, my can't. I, I think we finally finished the tutorial of this game. <laughs> Let me just cash in the couch. And, and then we'll pick this up in You should too, you, right? You should take one of the ladders back. Mm-hmm. So that way you have it for construction. You uh, stole it from the church, right? That's legal. Technically, churches don't pay taxes, so that means anything you want from them, you can take. Okay, uh, so I'll take the spotlight off Ryan a bit. The last time I thought I maybe pissed myself uh-huh. was because I fell asleep holding a LaCroix, a full LaCroix, uh-huh. and I woke up and I had dropped it in my sleep, uh-huh. and I don't know if it was just wet because of the LaCroix or if the shock of d- dropping it on me in sleep made me piss. Uh-huh. Well, I guess the question is, is your urine carbonated? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is Pamplemousse. <laughs> oh, okay. the video! Yay! Yay! Yeah, we're back, baby! <laughs> and then we do the improv thing where right? I run in front of the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> that, was, uh, See ya. that was a funhouse video. Can I get a suggestion of a funhouse? <laughs>